So, Ed and Reggie, congrats this one. So, the first clued up is a singer, but who? Well, Scottish singer. She sang all of this, all this time, Ed. I was going to say Lulu. It's not Lulu, you're frozen out. Pop Idol, she won, and Gillian McKeith, she's just done a special with. Michelle. Uh, thinking about what's the same name? Thinking about, I'm not going to give you that. <laughs> Michelle McManus. I just wanted to make you suffer for a bit. <laughs> Perfect answer. Well done. Ten points. She was known as Michelle on Pop Idols. So that's fine. Landmark. 19th century. Um, enlightening the world. France. Yes, Ed. Is it the uh, Eiffel Tower? It's not. You froze now. Oh. New York. France's gift to New York, Reggie. It's, um, is it um, Statue of Liberty? Yes, it is. Well done. Ed knew it, but you didn't have the final <laughs> clue. It was well anticipated, though. We'll go on to the next one. A sport. Ball sport. Well, there's a few of those, so let's narrow it down. US Open, Ed. Tennis. It's not no, a phrase. Not a Fairway and Tiger Woods, Reggie. <laughs> Golf. Golf is the right answer. Well done. OK, on to the next one. An animal. Well, it's a mammal, but which one? Uh, Africa, predominantly. The tallest, Reggie, Giraffe. is the right answer. Well done. Long neck, to say the least. This one is a TV show. Sitcom, sisters, set in Essex, and their friend is Dorian Ed. Birds of a feather. Yes, it is. Well done. <laughs> I noticed I waited to the end that time. I know. You were so keen to buzz in as well. You were ready to go. This is a country. Europe. Malik Belka, the Prime Minister. Zloty, the currency, Ed. Poland. Perfect answer. Another ten points. Well done. OK, next one. A personality. He's a chef. Oh. Ed? <laughs> <laughs> I'll, get, I'll go for uh, Gary Rhodes. Oh, do you know, I would have loved oh, it just, if you'd have got that one. Of, Hell's <laughs> Kitchen, footballer. Gordon Ramsay. Is the right answer. Well done. Ed, I think you just got just a bit mad quick. there on the buzzer. <laughs> this is a monarch. Um, 1837 to 1901, House of Hanover, Prince Albert, Ed. Queen Victoria. Perfect answer, well done, another ten points. You didn't need East Enders. <laughs> <laughs> Queen Vic. Oh. Oh. Right. right, let's have a look at the scores. Ed's on 30, Reggie, you're in the lead on 50. Yeah. Ed, you knew all of them then. I kept pressing just... too quick. I, I know you one. were, but it was Reggie's advantage, so well held out. And, uh, Thank you. But never mind, we've got another round still to... Right, word storm is the next round. With this one, we're going to give you the length of the word. First letter, last letter. You need to come up with a word that fits in there. Spell it for me nice and clearly, and if all that goes well, you'll get ten points. If you spell it incorrectly or you hesitate after buzzing in, I'll just pass it over, OK? Everyone at home, this is the other round where you've got to adjudicate yourselves. You might come up with different words from us. But let's have the first one, please. This is the first word storm to decide on the final. Five letters are to begin to finish L. Ed. Rival. R-I-V-A-L. How appropriate. Perfect <laughs> answer. There's only ten points in it now. On to the next one. Six letters long, starting with a G, finishing with an L. Reggie. Oh, I was going to say gabble. G-A-B-B-E-L. It's gabble. the wrong way around, isn't it? No, it is the wrong way around. Gabel. Ed. Grovel. G-R-O-V-E-L. Grovel. Very good word. You're both on 50 points. It couldn't be close. So six letters long, starting with a C, finishing with an O. Ed. Cuckoo. C-U-C-K-O-O. -O. Cuckoo. Perfect. You're in the lead. Well done. On to the next one. This one, then, seven letters long, starting with an A, finishing with a T. And that's Ed again. Acrobat. A-C-R-O-B-A-T. Acrobat. Perfectly spelt. Another ten points. There's 20 points between you. Five letters long, starting with an F. Finishing with a T, Reggie. Fight, F-I-G-H-T. Fight. Ten points, there's only ten points in it again. On to the next one, six letters long, F-E. Reggie. Freeze, F-R-E-E-Z-E. -E. Freeze, you're both on 70 points. Oh, my word, on to the next one. Seven letters long, starts with a C, finishes with an R. Ed. Cluster, C-L-U-S-T-E-R. Cluster's good. Ten points, well done. Oh! oh. That was it. <laughs> oh, well played, well mate. Done, That's mate. brilliant. Oh, God. Well yeah. done, Reggie. You're on 70 points. Ed, you are going Where through on 80. From, well done. <laughs> you can't question those magical <laughs> moments when it does happen. So, well done indeed. Reggie, gutted? Gutted, yeah. Gutted. I'm feeling it, I'm feeling it. Right there, mate, right there. Uh, however, well, maybe we'll be seeing more of you on our screens. I, I hope so, because so, you're so, a real yeah. personality. Thank and it's you. been great fun having you on the show. Same here. Ed... Well done. Still here. <laughs> you breathe. We're going to take a break, OK? Still here, he says. <laughs>
OK, Ed, I like what you said to me in the break, actually. You said, does this mean I've already won £100? <laughs> <laughs> and you yeah. have. Absolutely, it's Great. yours. But you might win a bit more than that. OK, let's have a look at the pyramid, if we can. Three letters will go in the top line. It's the same as it always is. 45 seconds on the clock, £100, no matter what happens. When the clock starts, a new letter appears in the second line, and we'll put it in the right place. So don't move it, it'll be where it should be. Bring down the letters from the word above, rearrange them, and when I hear the words that's on my card, the clock will automatically stop. You then decide whether you want to cut and run or carry on, okay. depending on how your legs are feeling. Okay. <laughs> Can we have a look at the first word, please? Net. N-E-T. Have a good look at those letters, have a think about them, and let me know when you're ready to go. Go. Can we start the clock, please? E. Teen. Yes, it is teen. Well done. Okay, that's two seconds. You've already got <laughs> double what you thought you were going to get. Yep. Do you want to stop or carry on? I'll carry on. OK, only because I have to tell you the rules at this point, not being pessimistic. Yeah. But if you don't get the next line, you'll go back to 100, OK? OK. Can we please? Start the clock. V. Event. Yes, it is event. Perfect answer. Ooh. OK, you've got 41 seconds. You have now got £500 that you can take if you want to stop. If you want to go on, the next line for 750 I'm going to take the 500, please. Are you? I think I will. Yes, okay. I'm happy with that. In that case, with 41 seconds still remaining, Ed, your 500 pounds better off. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yes. Well done indeed. So that's going to help. You're spending money on the cruise. It isn't certainly it? will. Yes. That would be lovely. So jealous. <laughs> Send us a postcard. Won't I will. You? Do you want to have a look at the rest of it? I do. Just for fun. Don't try too hard, please. <laughs> Let's have a look at the puzzle, please. Okay. Event. Let's put the next letter in. Join in at home. Have a go. Would have been a D. Any idea? Vented. Yes, it was vented. Yes. 750, that is the small jump. The next jump is the bigger one. So let's put the next letter in. It's an I. Tougher word as well. Yeah. Um, divine. How are you doing at home while Ed's having a look at that? Can you see it? Div if I say it starts with E, then V, Evid. Evident. Didn't. Yes, it is the right answer. So you maybe would have got, got another 250, yeah, but, that's right. but maybe not the 15. <laughs> OK, and then the last line of all, for everyone at home, it's an S is the next letter. And the, this is a really tricky one, but it starts with a vowel again. In fact, it starts with I-N. Invested was the answer there. It's a tough one for yeah. £3,000. I'm glad you stopped when you did, Ed, so well done to Thank you. Thank you very much. But, of course, the day isn't over because there's going to be a call. to Ed as well. Bye-bye. Death by natural causes or an ingenious murder. Another case for Columbus.